Hey, what's up? This is Jay Lucky Henry. So today we're going to talk about why is it that rows of houses often look exactly the same? Why do developers do this? Get ready. This is Jay Lucky Henry, Keller Williams agent in the greater Boston area. You won't believe how many people need to get real. R-E-A-L, Real Estate Explained, amazingly, by Lucky, in 90 seconds, give or take. Welcome back, it's Jay Lucky Henry. So we're talking about why do developers make houses that look exactly the same? Now, of course, in a condominium, we understand that, right? The exterior is gonna look the same. It's one building in a condo complex. But why are we talking about, when we're talking about townhomes or we're talking about row houses or things like that, why do they look exactly the same? Sometimes even rows of single families that are not attached by an HOA all look identical. Why is that? So there's a couple of reasons why developers do this. Reason number one, you probably figured it out. It's just economical sense, right? You can order the same product in bulk, right? So it's easy to order, build on site. And if you have your crew doing the same exact thing over and over again, efficiency is key, right? There's not a huge learning curve. Once they learn to do one, they can do the next 99. And then that's another savings there because they can get faster and faster at it. So one is just economic efficiency. Another reason they have them do this, or developers have chosen to choose this model, is because it allows for a quick turnaround in sales and easy comping, right? So comping is comparing like comparative value. At the moment you know what this one sold for, well, this is exactly the same. So it's almost in the exact same place. So it can sell for the same amount too. And now they can control how they sell it simply by releasing a few at a time or planning on how to build them in little bulks, right? Build this one and build that one and build the next one. So it's easy to comp out as well and justify maintaining the price of the next one. Another thing is, it's just what's happened in history. And as we know, history repeats itself. So in America, the first person credited actually with building huge development of almost identical houses was Levitt, right? A developer named Levitt in New York. Levitt Town, New York. Yes, apparently it was named after him. So Levitt Town, New York, these were built in 1947. And these were for the White War veterans. White War was an Italian war and blah, blah, blah. We don't gotta get into it. But hence the Italian settlers who came after the war, before and after the war, this was kind of where a lot of the veterans were housed during that time. And that was really the first big development that featured almost identical houses everywhere. So it's one thing that it's been repeated in history, it's economically viable, and it keeps the resale pretty predictable. So developers like this, well, the comp's pretty predictable, and developers like this. So it's been real, it's been 90, you gotta go. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. Jay Lucky Henry, and I'm here to keep it real with you. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, call or text 978-712-0244 and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more.